This is the Magic Yo-Yo Skyba. And uh, if you look at the box, you see it is made by Magic Yo-Yo, but you will also see that it is designed by Jeffrey Pang. And if you are not familiar with Jeffrey Pang, he is more well known in the yo-yo world for doing uh, more, I guess you could call it boutique designs. They're typically limited run, and they usually employ a lot of out-of-the-box thinking that when you get it, uh, they just play really, really well. And so I think all of us in the yo-yo world knew that when Jeffrey decided to team up with Magic Yo-Yo, the result was going to be something special, and the Skyva definitely is that. Uh, the first thing that you'll notice when you look at the Skyva is this little dimple on the inside, and that was designed specifically for finger spins. And this is one of the best implementations that we have ever seen in any yo-yo of finger spin design. It's really easy to use, but it's also uh, really dynamic, so you can do a lot of different types of tricks with it. And usually there's a trade-off there. If it's easy, then it's not as good for tricks and, and vice versa. Um, this kind of has it all, and I'll show you what I mean when we do the demonstration. Um, but uh, the way that they achieved this was really interesting. Uh, you see the Skyva is injection molded, but in order to get this finger spin design exactly right every single time, they actually machined the inside of each cup to make it just right. And you'll see that same attention to detail in every single part of this yo-yo. Uh, when you open it up, it comes with a center track bearing, which we're big fans of. You'll also see that they have uh, these brass metal pieces built right into the side of the yo-yo. Those are for the bearing seat. This is becoming more common in plastic yo-yos, but it's just one more thing that lets you know that this particular product, they're really committed to the quality of it and consistent play for every single yo-yo. Now, when you get the yo-yo put together, you're gonna see that basically it is a V-shape, and V-shapes tend to play a little bit faster, and that's true of the Skyva. It also has a little step coming off the bearing, which helps it play just a little bit better for off-axis. And in general, it plays uh, kind of on the lighter side, which makes it a super fun yo-yo to play with, because like I said, it's a little bit faster, it plays light, which means that it's really easy to use, it's really good for the finger spins, and so, uh, it's just the type of yo-yo that you're going to want to have with you all the time because it's good for just about all the different types of 1A yo-yo tricks and it's just fun to, to have around because it's not a really demanding throw. Now there is one trade-off with this yo-yo. Uh, because of how deep this finger spin bowl needed to be, the plastic under there is pretty thin. And so you don't want to be hitting this yo-yo on the ground an awful lot. And so we would definitely recommend against using the Skyva for 5A. But also if you're a brand new player and you're still kind of getting control of your tricks, and if you find yourself still semi-frequently hitting the ground, we would recommend waiting uh, a couple of months before you pick up your first Skyva. And we think that if you, uh, if you do that, you're gonna have a much better experience overall. And so, um, yeah, let's get to it. Let's see how it plays. As we said, the weight and shape of the Skyva make it really great for going through all of your different speed combo elements. And those same characteristics also make it really great for off-axis style play as well. So it's really easy to just blow through all your different elements. Uh, but as we know, the thing that we really wanna talk about is its ability to do finger spins. And so when you're learning finger spins, one of the most difficult things to master is repeated hop elements. And because the Skyva is good at keeping your fingers centered, it makes those tricks really easy as well. And in addition to that, because of this curved shape of the inner bowl outside of the dimple, uh, even if you catch it at an angle, it actually keeps your finger in place really well and gives you time to allow the yo-yo to get centered and get your finger in the dimple so you can continue on with your tricks. So in just a lot of different ways, it's just a super fun yo-yo to use. It's great for all the different types of tricks, and we couldn't be happier to recommend to you the Magic Yo-Yo Skyva.